batter gets only three pitches per at bat. A batted ball must pass the pitcher's mat to be determined a fair ball with the line. Um, any batted ball that is hit to the, hits the closest power line will be considered a dead ball triple or any of the other lines even way out there are dead ball outs. Now the open hole in the barn is a grand slam. That's the Aaron Geese rule. Um, this is the one instance where more than five runs per inning can take place besides the last inning. Five, a batted ball that hits the hay window is an automatic ending to the half inning and possibly the next half inning if any noise is made by players. The team that makes the noise will lose their next bat. The rule applies to both teams. Noise may resume after the next official pitch. Six, a batted ball that is hit into the long grass. The ground will double unless touched prior to ending the long grass. Seven, all debris is live and in play. Eight, if a batted ball gets stuck in a tree or on a building, the batter will have four attempts to knock the ball down by throwing an object at it. If the ball comes down, it is a home run. If the ball does not come down, it's a dead ball out. Nine, the maximum amount of runs scored per inning must be decided before the first pitch. Nothing discussed. Players should assume that five runs per inning will be the maximum amount of runs scored. The grand slam hole and the last inning are exceptions to this rule. Ten, the foul lines on the right side of the playing field are from home plate to first base extended into right field. The foul lines on the left side of the field are from home plate to third base and then from third base to the east side of the tree trunk. Balls hit into the tree will be deemed fair foul but where they land coming out of the tree. Eleven, if a batted ball clears any fencing in the air, the batter must retrieve the ball and present it to an opposing player to prove that the ball has been found. While the batter is looking for the ball, two players from the opposing team can run consecutive inside the park home runs. The second player may not begin running until the first player has crossed home plate. The batter finds the ball. Before the runners finish, the batter will be credited with a home run. If the runners finish before the ball is found, the batter will be out and all base runners will return to their position prior to the pitch. Rule 12, the lead runner may advance a maximum of two bases on any ball hit out of the infield that is field by, fielded by a player. The lead runner may advance as many bases as possible on a ball that hasn't been fielded. Example, a runner may go from first to third on a ball hit outside of the infield, but he does risk, or he does run the risk of being thrown out. Runner may also advance from second to home on a ball hit out of the infield. Runners may advance only one base on balls fielded in the infield. 13. Runners cannot advance extra bases on poor throws. 14. Runners can be put out by being hit by a thrown ball. 15. The pitcher must pitch underhand. The 16. The infield fly rule applies. 17. A batted ball that hits the pitcher will result in a dead ball single. All base runners can advance one base. 18. Captains will be selected by hit off. The order of the hit-off will go by age of the poo ball athletes, youngest to oldest. The farthest blast will be captains. Another hit-off will break any ties. Rock, paper, scissors will determine who has the first pick or has they have the choice of that or home team. Players who are being selected will line up in order of age for the captains. 19. If the ball is hit into a tree and the ball is caught, it is a double play. If the tree changes the flight path of the ball, if the ball drops from the tree and is not caught, it is a dead ball single. The fielder will determine if the flight path was altered. 20. Pinch running can take place at any time as long as the pinch runner is not due up to bat. The team may only use a pinch runner once per half inning. The pinch runner must hit the original runner must return to the base. 21. Once a player starts hitting on one side of the plate, he, must con he or she must continue hitting on that side throughout the at bat. 22, there is a tie at the base. Both teams disagree. Rock, scissors, paper will be played. A best of three series will be played. The fielder who attempts to put the runner out and the runner will be the players. All other team members will circle around the two players. Players must look at each other eye to eye and the game must be player one or played one, two, go without hesitation. Any hesitation will result in an automatic loss. 23. The batting team need not wait for the fielding team to be in position so long as all the batting team's players are off the field and the pitcher is ready to pitch. This rule applies after the first inning is completed. It is a gentleman's game. 24. Between half innings, no one, nobody may stall the play of game by holding a player or poo ball against one's will. <laughs> Dropping the ball by the team that will be on offense will allow the defensive team to pick it up and allow their fielders to get in position. 25. 
A runner may distract a fielder, however, any intentional contact, this is the Steve Raymond rule, <laughs> will be deemed an automatic out and a spanking of two times by the opposing captain. 26. There will be three outs per half inning. 27. In tournaments in which more than two teams will be involved, captains will be chosen according to Rule 18. However, the captain who hit the farthest blast will have the option of which pick to take. The decision for which pick to take will continue until a draft order has been decided. All selections will be made fantasy draft style, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1 today. 28. A team's batting order will be determined by the order of selections in the draft. The captain will be the first batter. 29. Softball style leads will be allowed. 30. There's no swiping of bases. 31. No bunting will be allowed. However, intentionally hitting ground balls will be allowed. 32. If females are to play, they must provide baked goods for the male <laughs> players. This rule is waived for the 4th of July tournament and for Thanksgiving poo. All those females are still encouraged to bring some baked goods if possible. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> and Katie. And Katie. I didn't know we had two. Thank you. Awesome. Um, <laughs> 33. It's a gentleman's game. Players must be honest at all times and respect the integrity of the game. With that, let's do a hit-off. Who's up? <laughs> 